to Brickett School and welcome to our Brickett Neighborhood Meeting. I am so happy and delighted to see so many faces here. That community, for the school even, extends much further than the brick walls of the building. You know, it, it requires a safe and healthy environment in the surrounding area to really create a safe and healthy environment for the families and the students who attend here. We pick up needles outside of my house, you know, that's left from certain residences. So I'd like to know what the plans are to kind of curb that element to make this stuff come to fruition. You know, if you've got people that are going to approach you every time you go to the store, what is the business's responsibility to that for having people not loiter in front of their business? If there's a, if there's a vacancy, we can actively support that business or that property owner to, to you know, fill that vacancy. Um, we can work with them to identify uses that might supplement with, with what is going on in the street that is positive. People do have the right to essentially hang around on public property. So what we try and do is think of why they hang around. And then we involve a behavioral health unit. They engage with them, and these are clinicians or substance abuse case workers, and they engage with them because oftentimes these are individuals who are homeless, who have substance abuse issues, behavioral health issues. The past probably 10 years, I've been having issues, and I'm right at the corner. It's like the whole side entered to Lewis Place, Lewis Street, and I've been seeing crazy things. I think you have to take the program from the bottom, not from the outside, from the inside. Visit lintv.org slash news for videos, press releases, interviews, and more all for free.